Hi there, welcome to Life Coach. This time, the theme and topic we'll be talking about today is growth mindset versus fixed mindset. So we'll discuss that and hopefully by the end of this video, you will understand, understand exactly what they mean. What is growth mindset? What is fixed mindset? And which is the best one? Okay, so if we look at fixed mindset, I'm going to read these out and let me know what you think. Okay, whether it's good or bad or you're not quite sure. So... Um, I'm only good at certain things. All right, so this person thinks they're only good at one or two things. Um, I give up when it gets too hard. Oh, it's too hard. No, not doing it anymore. Giving up. Um, I hate challenges. Uh, they really hate challenges. So, you know, some of these at school, they, they really do not like hard questions. They, oh, they hate them. Um, next. I take feedback and criticism personally. So if somebody criticizes my work, I get, I get upset. That's what they do. Uh, I don't like doing what I don't know. So if I'm doing a new piece of work, this person's, no, I don't like, I don't like it. No, 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 it's new, it's new, no, 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 no. So. That's fixed mindset, not very kind of optimistic or positive, but hey ho, let's go. So, growth mindset, uh, I can be good at anything. Oh, I like this person, they're very, very super, superhero, kapowow. I try until I get the results I want. So this person, if they make a mistake or don't get so good in a test, I'm gonna try even harder, you know? I don't care, I don't care, I'm gonna, Keep going, okay? Be better. I embrace challenges. So that means when there are challenges, they like it. This person, I hate challenges. I embrace challenges, okay? We had, I'm only good at certain things. I can be good at anything. I give up when it gets too hard. I try until I get the results I want, okay? Then we got, I welcome feedback and criticism. So if someone criticizes Mr. Chris or something, I go, right, okay, let's sit down, let's listen, and let's sort this out. Hey, you know, I take feedback personally and get very upset. So Mr. Chris will get upset and go, well, no. Okay, so which one's more successful? If you're going to be successful, you're going to be fixed mindset and growth mindset. And the final one, I like learning about things I don't know. Okay, so if, if you're learning a new language, this person really likes it. That like, wow, let's try, let's learn a new way. Let's try and learn interesting and fun ways about how to. This person, I, I don't, I, no, no, I don't like what I, I don't, I don't like doing what I don't know. No, no, oh no, I don't know. Don't. So now, very important, we've di discussed them briefly and we'll go through them. So let's go through, I'm going to give you some scenarios and then we'll go through what a fixed person mindset would be like and a growth mindset person would be like. So fixed, growth, see that. So um, let's go, so here we go. So a child is about to uh, do a test. They're very nervous. Should, what should they do? This person is doing a test. What should, what should they say? Um, oh, I might not be very good at this. I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to be very bad today. Or should we go down the growth mindset of, I, I can do really well in this test. I'm going to do amazing. If I don't, it's only a test. There'll be others later. Okay, so I'll give you 10 seconds to think about that. They've got a test. Should we be thinking negatively? Because this fixed mindset is very negative. It's all about worry. Okay, don't worry too much because you, you get no hair like Mr. Chris. So don't worry, it makes you ill and you end up be, be, being really bad. So you got to test, growth or fix. Go, decide, go. 10, 9, 8, 7. Yes, so fix mindset person, they get very panicky. I don't, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. This person would be a better way to be thinking before a test or in a test. I can do this. I like challenges. I like tests. I don't like tests. I don't. I like tests. So you can do, it's all about thinking. How can I do it? You can feel better by sleeping a bit better a few days before, eating well as well. So again, all about being positive. Let's do another scenario. So, um, right. So Mr. Chris has been cooking. He's, he's cooking one, one of Mr. Chris's uh, uh, instructions. He's, he's trying to, pancakes he's made a mistake 
So here we go. So let's see two scenarios. So Mr. Chris has made a mistake making the pan pancakes. Oh, that's and, and no more, no more, Mr. Chris. I'm not going to do no more. If I go down the fixed mindset, no more mistakes. No, I don't like challenges. It's too hard. I can't do. I can't do. Now, if he goes through the growth mindset, wow. Okay, I didn't do it this time. Let's try it. I do like challenges, okay? And if you're going to say anything bad about what I've done wrong, can I improve on that? Tell me what I need to improve. Okay, so which one's better? The fixed mindset or the growth mindset? Okay? Yes, it's growth mindset. So Mr. Chris, which I've done before when I've made mistakes, is I've gone, I will try it again. Okay, so growth mindset is very, very, very important. Um, if you make mistakes, mistakes are great. They're the greatest things, okay? That's how every person learns. Successful people in the world, whether it's a president or an actor or a footballer or your parents or your friends, they all have positive ways of thinking, okay? Nobody successful who is of fixed mindset because they would have given up straight away, okay? Steve Jobs would have given up if he made uh, his first mistake and it didn't work, okay? So nobody, nobody really wants to be doing this all the time. So growth mindset is excellent, okay? So we've got to be thinking positive. Every opportunity is a chance to improve, okay? Now mistakes are great, like I said before, but you don't want to be making the same mistakes eight, nine, 10, 11 times. So you've then got to go, well, how can I stop doing this mistake? Because I need to change something, okay? So it's all about that mindset, going back and focusing on, okay, what do I need to do, okay? Now, there are many aspects how you can practice doing this. I would say this is um, a daily exercise we need to do every day. Mr. Crystals is every day. Sometimes we slip into fixed mindset because we're tired, uh, we're hungry, someone's been nasty to us, we're, um, your football team might have lost. Um, so it's one of those where it can happen. Mr. Chris does slip into this sometimes, but I do try to get out. The best way of reacting, I find, is with this is maybe do something I like. So if I'm not very happy about something, listen to music, do some exercise, watch a film, and then my mind will start to go towards the growth mindset. And try doing that. It's very important for children and adults. Children and adults really need to try and do this. It's not just children at school, okay? This is something that is an exercise on your brain and the way you think every day, okay? The more you practice this, it becomes easier, okay? And that's why Mr. Chris is really good at this now because I'm practicing it as much as I can, okay? So hopefully you understand now what a growth mindset is. Yes, I can, I am the, I can, man. You can do anything, okay? And there are times where you don't, make sure you don't do too much of this, as in you put too much pressure on yourself, I need to get, a, 100% in every test. Well, that's just a bit silly. So make sure you do it at the right level, okay? And make sure, okay? So we'll talk about other topics and I hope now you understand the difference between a fixed mindset, which is very negative, very negative really, very positive. So I hope now you understand the difference and we should be trying to use that growth mindset. So I'm going to let you now practice that and when you've practiced it send a message on youtube you now you might already do it so explain what you do which is growth mindset explain the things that you do which is maybe fixed mindset so people understand it a bit better and if this has improved you write down what how it has and what did you do okay so thank you for watching and listening and hopefully now you can start to use that growth mindset okay well done for watching live coaching thank you bye